Um, so we brought them together, um, and it was actually all of our rugby guys, all of our community guys, and brought them together in a um, forum, um, and they did some surveys with our with our own community researchers, and um, you know, and asked them questions that they wanted to answer, and what what it was it that they wanted to see happen for them, and how are they feeling as men, and how are they feeling as fathers, as partners, as grandfathers, and. One thing that came out that was quite clear is they don't get to be men. They don't get to socialise safely and talk about the issues. I mean, we've got a, we think we've got it made if the man is able to do the kitchen and take care of the baby. So we think that's it. But that's not all what it is for them. Um, you know, our hunters and gatherers, where are they? Uh, the supermarket prevents them from doing that now. You just go down and if I'm the woman, I'll say, oh, well, stuff it, you didn't get dinner. I'm going to go down to the supermarket and buy the meat myself. So, you know, where does that leave our men to provide? So, you know, in our modernisation, we have, our men have declined the role of hunter-gatherer, provider, protectors. And I think we have to be very careful that that might become quite an extinct place to be and we have to help restore that. Have you got any ideas about how you could start doing that? By backing off and making a, leaving a place for our men to be men.